And the U.S. president has defended his energy policies against critics by vowing major economic gains. But experts are warning that climate change isn't just an environmental emergency. It could put a dent in the global GDP. CGTN's Giles Gibson reports. When scientists warn of the dangers of climate change, they often speak about devastation to the planet's ecosystem. But now researchers are warning that if climate change is left unchecked, GDP per capita will fall by 10.5% in the US, 4.4% in China, and 4.6% in the European Union over the next 81 years due to rising global temperatures. In the US, temperatures are rising faster than many other countries, and that could damage its vast agriculture industry. Environmental groups say farmers could help fight climate change, switching to carbon farming processes that suck carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere and store it in the soil. But according to the American Farmland Trust, the US has lost 31 million acres of agricultural land over the last 20 years. We're losing it to urban uh, development, but we're also losing it to sprawling development and fragmented uh, uh, development. And that's going to increase the pressure on ag land um, with less ag land available to deal with the impacts of uh, climate change. However, if major nations could stick to the terms of the 2015 Paris Climate Agreement, the forecast improves dramatically. To put it into perspective, the U.S. economy losses about 10 percent would be reduced to under 2 percent. In China, the losses uh, under the business as usual scenario is around 4 percent. They would be reduced to uh, around 0.5 percent. So the, there is a huge uh, uh, reduction in losses, a substantial reduction in losses uh, if we are able to commit to the Paris Agreement. These researchers say they hope their economic warnings will catch the attention of the leaders of the world's advanced economies. But here in the US, it's been more than two years since President Donald Trump pulled his country out of the agreement the researchers say would dramatically reduce the impact of climate change on GDP. Giles Gibson, CGTN, Washington.